Okay, support time. Sure. I've never really talked to her about much. Dear Goddess, I ask for guidance. <gasps> Here comes God herself. Uh, professor, I suppose you came by to pray too? Nah, just passing by. Despite being the Goddess herself, I'm not really very religious. Well, that's why I'm here. So, what were you praying for? Oh, um, nothing specific. I only call upon the goddess to give thanks, or perhaps to ask for protection. Anyhow, I should be on my way. Uh, you have a moment to chat. You never want to talk to me. Well, more so lately, but you know. Um, okay. You know, see, she is way more of an introvert than Bernie is. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. Bernie is just scared of shit. She's just straight up an introvert. I'm not very good at talking to people. The truth is, I didn't interact with people too often before I came here. And why is that? Did your father also just lock you into, like, like a room and not let you talk to people in between, like... Uh, murdering people? Oh, um, no particular reason. I'm simply not very good at it. That's just how I am. Well, don't worry about it. You'll get better. To the point that you're happy with. Uh, um, thank you. I'm sorry. You shouldn't waste your time worrying about me. Please, just ignore me. I, um, have to be going now. Goodbye, Professor. <sighs> God, my eyes are so much more piercing now. Not necessarily in a good way, either. Ah, there you are. Can we talk? I need a favor, and you strike me as the charitable type. Okay, I'm a goddess, not a... Not a freaking hand... Okay, I'm a goddess. Not a freaking charity. Ah, oh, yeah, this doesn't bode well. Receptive, aren't you? I know I shouldn't ask, but I need some gold. Out of the question. Hard times all around, then. Well, it was worth a shot. Guess that debt collector traveled all the way to Garrick Mock for nothing. If I were you, I'd feel bad about leaving the poor guy hanging like that, but... It is what it is. You better work hard to pay him back. No, it's a lose-lose. I owe the church, too. That means any work I do here, they take a cut. The only way to escape my financial burden is to get clear out of Fodlin. Well, then. Ah, uh, it would be sad to not have you around. You are a fun guy. Oh, I had... Didn't mean to bring you down. No, it's just joking, yeah? Wait, what? We all have to decide where we belong and then fight for it. Can't let your wallet control your fate. Well, oh, that's good, that's good. Because that seemed like a legitimate option. If money was all I cared about, I never would have walked away from inheriting a baron's house. Wait, what? I... <laughs> you really don't seem very noble to me. Figured that was a bigger reason, right? I hear that a lot. Still, it's true. I was the head of a minor house in the east of the Alliance. I like to say I stepped aside for the good of the house. Has a nicer ring to it than saying I just wasn't cut out for the gig. Or that I lacked the right temperament. My distinguished little bro took my place. Fact is, he's a much better man for the job. And your tats are still your own. Don't go feeling sorry for me now. I didn't mind one bit. Truth is, I'd have been miserable in that life. Having that title was nothing but fuss. Fuss is the worst. This way of life suits me much better. And you? Mm. Uh, uh, what about me? You showing up at Garrick Mock was a coincidence wrapped in happenstance. Your pops was a renowned mercenary leader. It can be safely assumed you'll follow in his footsteps. 
Well, due to recent developments, a lot of that has changed, I imagine. Don't you ever feel like that life was decided for you? Hmm. I've never really thought about it like that. Better start pondering that one real quick, pal. Why keep breathing if your life isn't your own, yeah? Well, there's a decided lack of gold here, so I'll be off now. You think on what I said. And I don't think Edelgard's gonna give you anything either. Try to meet Trace. He's charitable, I think. Maybe. Just, you know, don't betray him. He, he seems really quick to get angry. Oh, my. Life is a series of peaks and valleys. Our reunion is, to my mind, the highest of peaks. Spoken like one who's never known the lowest of valleys. To think, we were once a pair of blooms, flourishing side by side in the upper echelons of Enbar society. Oh, that's why it's good for you. It makes you feel better about yourself. Despite our differing aspirations, I think together we could have taken the mantle of leading the Empire. Tread carefully, Ferdinand. Some part of me clung to hope that you might emerge from the wreckage. I am glad you have. I know that was a difficult time for you. Oh, so you surmised that the single most humiliating event of my life was difficult, did you? It is becoming clear to me that this conversation is a waste of my time. Oh, that was rather brusque. Well, pardon me if I seem unmannerly in the face of a reminder of all I have lost. My family, my home, my friends, my people, everything. I am all that remains. I... I... I did not intend to offend you, Constance. Then what did you intend? How like the noblest of nobles to be unaware of the suffering one causes? You can't grasp what it is to be a newly minted peasant, can you? Wow. Ferdinand's lack of perspective is big. Wow. That is simply not true. I care about you, and I was attempting to offer some words of comfort. Enough! I need more than words, more than you have offered to provide. Though I am without status now, my spirit is no less noble. It will not do for you to condescend to me in my houseless state. You have my sincerest apologies. That was a grave misstep. I did not mean to come across as condescending. I was merely being careless with my words. As you say, I have never experienced loss at such a staggering magnitude. I cannot imagine the pain you have endured. Indeed, you cannot. I advise against trying. The more you harp on it, the more irritated with you I become. Never shall a day pass that I don't work toward restoring my house and reclaiming my title. You, on the other hand, seem content to remind me that it is lost. Thank you, but I had not forgotten. Constance, please. I see no trace of the boy who made waves with me at balls and embodied the finest in the nobility. This newfound arrogance of yours is a discredit to House Iyer. Doesn't seem new to me, but interesting. Is this actually a relatively new development in his life? Very interesting. Well, he'll have to think about it as he talks to Flane. Oh, what is that lovely smell? It seems to be coming from the training area. Oh, what could it be? You have met your match, Rust. Ah, so stubborn. Good day to you, Ferdinand. You smell amazing. That is you I am smelling, is it not? That's sort of creepy. Ah, Flane, hello. Are you referring to the smell of this oil? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, that is the smell, all right. I am simply doing some armor maintenance. A little oil keeps the rust at bay, ensuring that the armor moves smoothly, without any hitches. I see. I thought maybe you were doing some cooking. You smell a bit like food. <laughs> but I suppose that is the oil tricking my nose. <laughs> I would not cook in the training area. Are you hungry by chance? Not really, no. But is that oil not also used for cooking? Might be. 
Oil's a very versatile substance. And a lot more varied than just oil. You think it might be fish oil? Maybe that's why you like the smell. For things like frying meat or drizzling over a nice crisp salad, things of that nature, were I to coat my armor in oil that smells of food, I would be distracted by hunger at all times. I doubt that amidst actual fighting, the smell would still make you hungry. When you are in the thick of it, you devote all your focus and energy to the fight. There is no time to feel peckish. I suppose you're right. And actually, all of this talk of delicious oil has made me hungry. <laughs> in that case, I will accompany you to the dining hall. I will be finished in a couple of minutes. I must apologize, Ferdinand, but I cannot wait even a moment for you. I am famished! I shall be in the dining hall, getting my fill of fried goodies. Well, that was quick. Hmm. I will admit, now that she has mentioned it, it is a rather appetizing smell. Ah, uh, the beginning of the paralogue, how Ferdinand got fat. <laughs> oh, would that just be fantastic? You okay? Oh, it's the view, right? Uh, no? No, that was Casper. More crimson, maybe? May I suggest Vermilion instead? Vermilion? I know, I see it. You don't have to say it. I've got no talent at all. I said nothing about your talent. I simply suggested Vermilion over Crimson. Do you know Vermilion? It's just a softer shade of Crimson. I believe it would... Oh, forget it. This is your artistic vision and I am but a meddler. I am going to read my book and leave you to your art. Um, no, it's fine. Say what you want to say. It's good advice. I'll use Vermilion. Thank you. Well, I'd best be heading back. Phew! Finally done! I think. All finished? There was that, uh... Everything looks a bit faded, doesn't it? Ironically, Crimson may have been a better choice after all. The sense of distance on the petals is a little strange. Perhaps you should pay closer attention to such details as you paint. God damn, Linharia. Read the mood. At least give the, give the uh, opinion in a bit more of a subtle way. My oh my. There was that stuff about lost items with involving your painting, right? A preliminary sketch would do wonders. Still, it... Ah, uh, forget my pedantic comments. You really do have potential. Oh, there you go, Linard. You okay? Hyperventilating? Bernadetta? You idiot! Hopeless! Waste of charm! Just burn the whole thing, Bernie! Break your stupid brushes and never paint again! Huh. Perhaps I should have kept my thoughts to myself. And so we begin the paralogue, the Great Monastery Fire. <laughs> oh well. Okay, well. Time to do the thing I've been putting off. Well, I saved again. Just in case. Professor, will you join me? There's something I must do. It will take a few days, but I promise we'll be back in time for the ceremony at the Holy Tomb. Uh, but where are we going? It's meant to be a secret, but I'm going to Enbar, the Imperial Capital. There is something I must do there. Oh. Oh. This is feeling an awful lot like that one thing earlier, where he can cut off the rest of the month. I learned my lesson, goddammit! Which means load the save, right? Yes, it means load the save. Okay, I'll be back. I'll talk to her another time. I'll keep that save, just in case. Obviously, the 22nd will probably be my last opportunity. Okay. What do we have for you? Wait. Hubert isn't an option. Huh. 
one? Why is Hubert not an option for the group? Task. Is he not here? He's not here either. Ooh. I still have. This could be used. My effort. I appreciate. It is a lot. I got it. Okay. Again, I'm just trying to supplement their stuff. Sort of. Sort of on a whim, it's not calculated. Uh, the one thing I did sort of out of the ordinary was try to get Ingrid's authority up. It wasn't quite uh, all the way, but being a rider means that she has much less options in terms of actually using uh, battalions, because they have to be on... They also have to be wings, basically. May I ask you something? Is it to go with you? Oh, one, one professor lectures many students. Some will inevitably have trouble keeping up, while others will get too far ahead in their studies. I wonder how the problem might be solved. Um, perhaps there is a magical solution. Okay, you want actual solutions. Lecture should be optional. <laughs> Do you want me to say that? I feel like you might want me to say that. Hmm. See, I, I feel like she'd want the one that is the harder working one. The more ambitious one. More professors. Is that so? That it? Or did you really want me to say optional? Do you want to leave for the week? Is that what you want, Edelgard? Hey, pal. Um. You have no faith whatsoever. So no. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have Constance take that role for you. You can just be a normal brawler. Just leave this to us. We'll be all right. Hey, we did pretty well. Apparently. Woo! I'd never have learned this back in my room. My efforts were not in vain. Hey, Slice. Okay. Let's put this to the test. Okay. Gotta do what you gotta do. Seems happy he's gone missing. I can do this in the other, uh... Especially since it seemed like Yuri and Constance had one. So I'll do this when I do Deer. It's pretty low level, though. Um... So this is level 21. We're around that. So I feel like we'll be at a good place level-wise for uh, doing it. Probably don't need to uh, actually do any of these. Not at the moment. Woo! I guess he didn't have anything sword-wise. I'm getting it. My am I. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. Woo. Okay, last lecture for a while. I just still have plenty of people motivated to uh, get stuff done. Do we have Hubert back? We do not have Hubert back. Well, excellent. He didn't like disappear from the game, did he? Why do I feel like he did? You have my. I am beginning. Hey, pal. Ha ha ha! You're desperate. No. Hell no. You have an E in faith. We're way too late for that. Oh, sure. How do you like tea? Oh, he looks apprehensive. Um. Do you like bitter? What good stuff do I have? 
I, you seem like you might like bitter. Yeah. Why am I here? I don't know. This is like a weird mechanic, but it is what it is. I thank you. I have a better idea of what you're all about, though. Not bad. Oh my. Yes. Evaluating allies. Yeah, yeah. Impressive. Seems about right for him. What? Overcoming weakness. Yes, he yes, definitely same. like that one. Uh, what? A new sword technique. Wow, he's yes. so easy to read. He wears his personality on his damn sleeve. Not bad. Spending time with you is not bad. Can I disagree? <laughs> Sip tea. Just take it all in stride. No. What else am I supposed to do? Was I supposed to blush? <gasps> no, I'm not. <laughs> Thanks for your hospitality. I hope you'll invite me again sometime. Oh well. Those are always the hardest to uh, get. Hey, we. I think I... well worth the effort. <laughs> I'm getting... Okay. Explore again, basically. Oh my god! And reload. Practice yields res... Pick it, Professor. My favorite food. Growling just thinking about it. Finally, woo! <laughs> and that's all I get. God damn it! <laughs> Can't even use them. I would be liking that greatly. Oh, Cory! That is everything I am planning to do. Well. I do eventually need to go to sleep. I'm recording this way sooner than you might think. <laughs> uh, after the last episode and whatnot. So, we shall return on 2 2 2. In order to continue. Uh, I will see you all next time. As hopefully I get my better hair back. God, I, I, I like the hair better. Uh, I fit her better. It just feels weird and it reminds me of Ray a little too much. Eh. Scratch that. Let's go do this one now. Because why not? Linhard, at least try to do some training. Use a staff, or a rod, or a broom for all I care. My apologies, but I cannot train right now. I have plans for later and don't wish to tire myself. Kaspar invited me to train with him, you see. You slept through the whole debate, didn't you? Fine. I'll summarize it for you. Not the whole debate. I closed my eyes only after I knew what reading would cover the topic. There you are. Don't tell me you were sneaking out to do some training. Of course not. I was sneaking out to avoid you. <sighs> How did you find me this time? A mere coincidence. Why would you wish to hide from me? Because you're an awful nuisance? Why do you pester me so? 
To ensure that your talent is not wasted due to your lack of... It's none of your business how I spend my time or how I use my talent. Have you assumed the role of my mother? You overplay the part. She was only half as overbearing. What? What is the matter with you? Wow. As house leader, I'm trying to prevent you from causing trouble for yourself and our classmates. Fine. I'll try harder. Really. I'm sure you see all this as my interfering with your duty as a leader. Have you considered how it feels for those of us who serve below you? You are a serious pain, you know. How so? You're like a mother who insists on accompanying her son to his own knighting ceremony. That's taking it a bit far, don't you think? No, I'd say that it's putting it lightly. All you're interfering is greatly hindering my research. I see. Very well. You've made your perspective perfectly clear. Hot damn, okay. Oh, that was the beginning and end of that. It can go up two more, though, technically. Okay, okay. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, she's close to leveling up and even knows that. Oh, but okay. Okay, now, for real this time, I probably cut out the last one. That's where I'm going to leave it. I need to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, next time, we'll see where this brings us. So, I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone. And hello, and welcome back to Echo from not that much more in the future, because... Fuck, I'm sort of here just, like, wondering if I'm going to have storage space for all this shit. By the time I actually stop, like, just wanting to play it. I need to edit a bunch. I have so much editing to do. Oh my goodness. I need to play other series, too. Uh, I really like this one. I elaborated before. I it just, it just has this really good feel for pacing between the different sections that it pulls you to one to the other. And it feels like it's always just, like, leaving you in a state where it's like, yeah, I sort of feel like, I feel like playing that again. By the next time you're, like, sitting down and, like, what I want to play. Yeah, I really do sort of feel like playing that at the moment. Okay. Okay. Professor, will you join me? There's something I must do. It will take a few days, but I promise we'll be back in time for the ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It's meant to be a secret, but I'm going to Enbar, the Imperial Capital. There is something I must do there. Da da da. 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 Okay. One. If I was in the situation, it's like, man, I want to hear you out, Edelgard. I want to. I'll go with her, basically. Echo in the situation. The one thing. The one thing is, I don't know how. And I sort of get the opposite impression. Like she was working with the, uh, like, super pale people. Sullen in them. But maybe she wasn't approving of their methods. Mm. The one thing that would make me, like, not go along with her. And the fact that this is a choice is the weirdest thing, isn't it? What happens if I don't? Do I just, like, enter one of the other ones? Maybe, like, take the same guys, but, like, basically do the blue lines or golden deer stuff? Hmm. Mind you, I'm gonna say yes. I'm just trying to deliberate if there's absolutely any reason to say no. Because it's the, the one thing, the one thing is that if, if she was going along, and the whole thing to kill Geralt was, like, something that she was actually supportive of. So that would probably be the one thing that breaks it for me. But I do not get that impression, based on all the stuff I've seen. I'll go with you. Am I certain? <laughs> I made a save. I made a save. We'll see how this plays out. Thank you, my teacher. Then again, maybe there's just not much left. Father, forgive me for asking this of you. I know how much pain you're in. 
how the burden of the throne weighs heavily on you. And so... There is no need to apologize, Edelgard. You must know <laughs> that I do not have much time left in this world. Oh. The time has come. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Now, to complete the Imperial succession, you must relinquish your crown here in the throne room. We're doing this now? The Archbishop of the Church of Saros would normally act as witness, but my professor will fill that role instead. Oh. You seem to be working against her. Who would have come if I didn't then? I guess I... <laughs> if we're saying, like, I'm a fucking prophet of the goddess, I suppose that could fly, especially if they use that in their... Because mostly it's going to be like a PR issue to not have the bishop, uh, archbishop there, right? Fatal card. From this day forward, the weight of the Empire's future shall rest upon my shoulders. All that I do will be for the benefit of the people of Fodlan. Heavy is the crown. Edelgard von Hesvelg, the crown is yours. By the covenant between the red blood and the white sword, and by the double-headed eagle upon your head, I hereby pronounce you the new emperor. Are you prepared to take those responsibilities as your own? In accordance with the ancient covenant, and in keeping with the Hrasfeld legacy, I swear that upon this throne, I shall use my reign to lead Fodlan to a new dawn and achieve peace for all. He's really sickly. How old is he? The Imperial succession is complete. <laughs> my daughter. I regret that I could not do more for you. So, seriously, how old are you? Is it like, did you have the Crest experiments done on you too? Like, do you, like, age super fast or something like that? Because, like, I know 11 children. It probably took a while to get to, like, the 11. So maybe, maybe it really is something like that, but... Where it's just, like, he was really old by the time. She's not old. She's, like, what, 18, 19, 17 in this range? Uh, now? When you were stolen away to the kingdom, and the prime minister did those horrible things... I could only watch in horror. I... I understand, Father. In those dark times, your eyes and your fists were my salvation. Within your eyes, I saw true care. And upon your fists, clenched tight with indignity, I saw the blood that dripped and fell. Even as I bled, I felt that you too must also be bleeding. Your Majesty, you must not leave your sleeping chambers in your condition. Ah, Edelgard, I did not expect to find your highness here. Oh, hey, buddy. You're Ferdinand's dad? Oh, I see the family resemblance. Prime Minister, you have misspoken. I am no longer your highness, but rather your majesty. I impossible! Why, you think you could stop it? It is true. Edelgard is the new emperor of the Adrestian Empire. We will summon the officials <coughs> and prepare an ordinance at once. And you, Prime Minister, are dismissed. It will be some time before you are allowed to make contact with the outside world again. Wait, 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 if she can do this so easily, why didn't her father do that? No! How can this be? I... Uh, understood... Your Majesty. Edelgard, my dear El, I leave the fate of Fodlin... <laughs> ...in your capable hands. Father... Thank you for staying by my side, Professor. Now that I'm the Emperor, it's time to grasp my destiny. That is not what I was expecting to do today. That is not what I was expecting to do today. After the ceremony at the Holy Tomb, I must return to Enbar. This may be the last we see of each other. Oh, I doubt that. We are out of time, my teacher. Everyone is waiting for us. 
We must go. At the very least, we made that promise five years, right? To meet here again in five years? Hmm. Here's the thing. It feels like we're reaching a climax a little bit. It could be. A lot of things have happened. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm ready for this to be done. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. So, like, a final battle or something, and then we have a... Oh, that's the thing. There's so many unanswered questions, aren't there? Hmm. I suppose there are multiple. There are multiple routes, so... Maybe they will... Uh, maybe they'll answer some of those other questions. Um... Oh, what, what would... um? Yes, let's give you the... Wait, do I have any more bitter ones? I want to give you the bitterest of bitter ones, because you're a big, mature adult, right? Yeah, let's just give you a bitter one. Did you call me? <laughs> yeah, technically. I am grateful. This is delicious. Really? You like the bitter one? You lying mother... <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Your ambitions. Sure. I don't actually know that much about you. Um... Would you like praise? Nope. Um... I know you like sweets, right? Yep. Oh well. Ah, <sighs> that tea was delicious. Invite me again sometime. See ya! That's all good. It is what it is. In the end, basically. Was it is heavy as the crown? Or was it like heavier the shoulders that wear the crown? I'll probably try to make it the episode title or something. Editing Echo, remember that. That that's like a fucking good episode title. <laughs> uh, okay, let's make sure everyone's uh prepared as much as we can be. Because this'll be fun, as I totally expect to get assassinated, or an attempted assassination. Everyone's like, oh, something big, big is coming up, something big is gonna happen. I totally feel like I'm gonna be assassinated. Uh, Edo Kart's apparently the fucking emperor, that just sort of happened. Oh my. And, um... Here we are. With a, uh... With what feels like it's going to be going to the climax, or, like, the big act turn to go into the third act, basically. Some shit's gonna go down. Some shit's gonna go down hard. Let's do this. Let's motherfucking do this! We're so fucking screwed, but let's do this! I'm almost at 50 hours on this in the main game. Not even including the stuff I've done for Cinder Shadows. Uh... God, I've spent so much time on this, and I'm, I've am i released, like, three episodes of it. God fucking damn it. Oh, horrible yet horrible. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the holy tomb. A lot of green glow. Is it going to look like what I think it looks like? To think that there was such a vast space beneath the monastery all this time. It's hard to imagine that any of these enormous contraptions are of this world. You okay? This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. Children? Ooh. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? You know so much about what's going on, mother god damn you. I will never give in to your bullshit. I do not. There is no need to hide anything from me. You have seen it, haven't you? In a dream. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. Hmm. Well? It was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Stop right there! Hmm? 
What's a step away? <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> Wait, why? Why do you care? What's the Imperial Army doing here? Wait, does he work for the Flame Emperor? Wait, what do you mean? Why would he work for the... That's a weird conclusion to come to at the moment. So the Flame Emperor is connected to the Empire. I never thought that possible. <laughs> Okay, you totally must have. That is such an uh, The Emperor guy might be connected to the one empire in the region. Come on, Leonard. Okay, wait. How? Wait, where are you getting that? I feel like there's something lost in translation here. We've never seen this guy before, have we? I don't think we have. Edelgard, did you know about this? Yes. In fact, I gave the order. I am the Flame Emperor. I guess that's the end of play at school, Lady Edelgard. I mean, your majesty. Get to work, everyone. The Crest Stones belong to us now. And take those filthy bones, too. Hmm. Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor. Destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator! Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the meaning of this, Edelgard? You... made use of us? Why? I'm sorry, my teacher. I cut this path, and now I must follow it. My friends, I ask that all of you stay back. It is not my intention to fight you. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresvelg. I command you to collect the Crest Stones. If anyone attempts to stop us, kill them. Hmm. Are you fighting against us? Are you going to be a dancer? Oh, no. I don't want to fight Dancer Edelgard. No. Thanks. No, I'm... <sighs> you have my gratitude. She's not even trying to get me to join her. God damn it. I am grateful. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Yeah. No Ada Card or Uber. I suppose I have enough people, technically. Technically. Start taking away two of my better guys? What, you're not a dancer? Oh, you bastard. Metoday. Who the fuck are you? Whatever. That was so honestly, that was a really awkward cutscene. Where's Hebert? Okay. Not sure what else to prepare, so move the people around a little bit. Get my entire class killed. I live. Win the battle. <laughs> what I happens will then? Not allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the holy tomb. Oh, God. Okay, if you're going to force me to choose between you two, I think I have an obvious choice. The crest stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. <sighs> then again, at the same time, it almost feels like it's not giving me a choice. God damn the it. holy tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the Crest Stones as you can. Could drastically change the story. My ass. Okay. Uh, protect the Crest Stones. If they're stolen, you can get them back by defeating the foes that have them. Oh, I can just kill everyone? Okay. You can earn rewards based on the number of Crest Stones you've protected. Will they, like, try to leave once they grab one? Okay. What seems like the safer side to go to? That seems safe. I think I probably... Don't want to split people up at the moment. Both seem fairly safe. I'm more worried about the archers. Should be okay. I have those guys in the back. Take away every last one of those crest stones. That is enough. Do you even know what those stones are? I would love to know. I think I'm right about what she is doing, though. Maybe she's trying to build an army, though, rather than... Like, empower herself specifically. Oh, has started to retreat. Okay. 
So they do try to retreat. Got it. So I should totally split up and head to this... Oh, god damn. Okay, can I get over there in time? You know what? I think... I think I might restart this. Yeah, there's multiple reasons I might restart this. I forgot about attributes. <laughs> I forgot to set that up. I will... The crest... I'll go to the side and have Sally these guys Paul. double back to pull these people in and attempt to whoop their ass, basically, in. in a little bit. While these guys all go to the side to uh, engage the enemy. Hopefully. That's my cue. <laughs> okay, that actually hit good. So, ride. Same idea on this side, basically. Completely just trying to... Are they really going to go after it? I'm going to get basically a free turn. Ugh, battle. Maybe. Okay. Okay, they're progressing towards this side, all things considered. Take away at that is it. So I need to be very, very careful. I wonder how much movement they actually have. Hmm. Those guys I should just lead a uh, lead around until I kill them, basically. So like if I have too much stuff and I send it to the convoy, does that also count as having it at the end? Or do I just like keep it in the convoy? <laughs> Uh, that would be fun. Okay. This is working well. That is that. No problem. Easy peasy. I won't go down she so easily. Is really strong at the moment. I should be very wary of that too. Okay, there's his actual level up. Easy. Um, again, I don't know if I should hang on to that technically. I guess I will. I don't need the door key at the moment. I will not be stopping. That was a good one. Same idea here. I don't even... I, why is that even equipped to her? I just forgot to take it off when she, like, picked that up accidentally. As long as... You should be on it. Also, something on him, sure. I was afraid of that hitting, but she could take it. Anywhere I can hide. Oh, you're fine, Bernie. Doing great. 
being absolutely fantastic. More crust stones swiped. Okay, that one's gonna get away soon. And the ones way down there are definitely gonna get away soon, aren't they? Oh? Well, some of them aren't running away. Oh, well, they're trying to swipe a bunch of them, are they? Yeah, I was hoping that would miss. You are not. I do. Someone's I definitely fired do. Up. <laughs> I definitely do. Oh my. Even got EXP off that, eh? My rise to prominence continues. <laughs> you say so. Good and weather the storm, huh? That nah, shouldn't take him out. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Absolute wall. Let's go. Well, that worked. Thanks, pal. So it's in. So, so, so it did. Let's go, Bernie. Get that crest stone. So we can give him to Edelgard in the end or something. I don't know. Am I done yet? It's so weird that it would make, make, uh, let me make that choice if it really... Maybe she wouldn't have become Emperor. Maybe I let her do this. Crest down taken. Running away. Oh, I'm not gonna let that happen. What? You changed That's your it. target. Thank goodness you missed. Did you realize I put that gambit on there? You're supposed to be going after her. Not that that probably would have hurt her very much anyways. God damn it, I need to chase after them, basically. I'd rather be napping. You're fine. We got a crest stone, so that's good, I think. So... I'm now far enough away. I should be able to basically back the fuck off from getting attacked. Yeah. That's still not ideal, but those are two archers over there. Perfect. They set those up on purpose. They totally set those up on purpose. So... Not enough to take you out. But it would saw you in your tracks, wouldn't it? It would. An ambitious plan. I'll show you a plan. Yeah, I switched out his for the one I had in Hato Garden before. Yeah. Who do I? Trying to remember who I put fuselage on. I that one's so good this. too. Yeah. That one's good to supplement people that don't have range attacks. Stuck now, which is good. That guy's running away though. I only have one real, like, fast person over here. Come on. You can do it! Low percentage, but you can do it! Take that shot! Nah! Darn it. Such a waste. Huh. 
Whoa, good thing you moved before him. That saves some HP. That saves... That saves quite a bit of HP. Just like that. She is going up like a freaking wildfire, isn't she? For now, let's... I should be able to grab its attention with this, right? That's how the concept's supposed to work. Right? Fine. That ain't bad. Ah, I think it's still trying. I think it's still gonna try to hit them. Oh. Because in the um, well done. One of the other ones that I think had these monsters. The, um, the, they would, like, switch to their, like, frontal attack when I drew their attention a certain way. Oh, uh, I can deal with this. No! You drew your attention that way! Why? I suppose it, I guess it's not. Fuck, I thought Ruptured Heaven, or Sublime Heaven, but yep. I Yes, you were, Constance! Yes, you were! No, I can do this. Man, th that thing's just wandering down there. Oh, no. I suppose it doesn't draw the attention, but rather it probably just... Uh, it knocks him off, basically. It makes it so I can attack without counterattacks. Yeah. We have a gamut, though, right? Here, let's do it this way. Gambit it up. Make him weak. So, should focus on him. Yeah. Okay. I can move her forward to heal That's him my up. That's my cue. Basically. Okay. Uh, this is much easier this way. A weirdly no. high, is that just like a brawler thing? A skirmish. It feels like you have a ridiculously high crit rate. What affected crit rate? It was I thought it said like it was dexterity or speed. You don't have high in either of those. So, eh. Whatever. Stay focused. Whatever, I guess. Huh. Huh. Okay, you get that uh level again. Another They move forward again. And you can take a hit. Yeah, you're perfectly fine. Let's turn the table. Freeze you guys in place. Yeah. Out of the way. Down. Woo. You don't need a chess. You don't need a chess key. We're fine. Oh, you have to. Uh Can I send it to the convoy? Does that count? I guess. No more healing for little old Bernie. You'll be fine, right? You'll be fine. So it does adopt a scene. It's though the ones of the crest stones are completely committed to just moving, because they're not even trying to attack me when I get near. So I can, me. I can take out these archers with some relative ease and uh, stay in a safe, a generally safe area for everyone. Ferdinand von Eyre. Yeah. Only a fool challenges me. Relative ease again. <laughs> uh. Oh, that was a cool crit. 
I don't think I've seen the crit on that before. Damn. Very nice. So, I'm betting on no one trying to attack these guys next turn. Basically. <laughs> oh, and no crit. I don't even think those guys can crit. I, I don't think I've ever seen them crit before. Same idea here, honestly. <laughs> uh, why is this important? Because now that he's down to 16... Yep. There it is. Let's go! Down it goes. I won't go down so easily. I... Okay, now I just need to heal those guys. Wow. They are in so much pain. Ah, <laughs> uh, hit. Oh, well. To make sure I get those, take those guys out sooner or later. You are good against the armor, guys, aren't you, Ferdinand? I guess the speed just lets you hit more, and that's the big reason. Sorry. Ah, uh, yay, healers. Yeah. Well, that was important, so let's not do that. How many have left? I have... I have... When did I get all those divine pulses? I have 12? Oh, no. What? When did that become a thing? What? Oh, my goodness. So, you know what? I have a guess about how they calculate it. I think they probably give each character... Like, a roll when the turn starts, basically. And that's how that's how they, like, um... Or maybe they do it throughout the entire battle before. But that's how they, like, lock it in so you can't, like, screw stuff up. So, like, that hit because it was 100%. Maybe the roll was, like, 99. And when uh, I had only, like, 79% or 80-something percent, it's like, well, that's lower, so it doesn't hit. But because that was higher at 100, we could. Ready. And it might be the same with crits. Oh! I aim for greatness. Because it's it's hard to explain some of the things that have happened. No, that wasn't great. Okay. And uh, oh, someone's in range of something now. Damn it! I guess because that guy was in the way. Bernie technically wasn't before. Stay focused. Here. Thank you. We're good. That's so my I wanna cue. Group up and heal these guys, basically. That's important at the moment. Okay. I'm taking a little bit of a risk here by putting a lot of people in likely danger in order to take out the guys with the uh, I will press not stones. Be stopping. Oh, you have A and bow now? Cool. <laughs> you don't need all those vulneries. <laughs> you don't need any of those vulneries. Uh, I don't even know, man. I just don't want to take the chance at this point. A potentially better idea. One hurts. Can't get ahead of myself. Two hurts. Luck is always on my side. The noble standard. Ooh, that's a lot. Too bad, I guess you're not the noble standard. You never get that, man. Okay, so you can actually move quite a bit. 
I will get the victory. And now this lets us move significantly more. And yeah, that should be the same as before. You don't need the vulnery. You don't need the vulnery. <laughs> uh, okay, that should be perfectly fine. That side's all short on. Completely defensible on this side. And I'm forgetting that thing exists. I better take care of shit over here before that thing catches up, though. That would be very unfortunate if, uh, it gets, like, it, like, it makes its way to Lindhart, and it's like, and Lindhart's just like, oh, I should have slept in today. Oh, I should have, I should have, I should have. You've been stronger than I look, yeah? Still got room to grow. Each battle, a chance to grow. Man, I do nothing to this guy. She is bad, bad, bad against armored units, isn't she? Good against these guys, though. I did what I had to. Flame Spirit, protect me. Disappointing. Oh my god. Oh, I shouldn't take that chance, right? You are not. Man, they go down easy, motherfucking easy, don't they? So, okay, there is a danger zone from these guys out in front uh, as well. Is there a. There is not a stairway up here. So that's the entrance. Is the throne? Yeah, the throne's technically over here. We came from the throne. Does anyone else still have? Oh, you still have crest. Ah, uh, you do still have a crest stone, don't you? I guess we can chase after them. Oh, wow, that thing has a range. Gotta be careful. I think Linhart wants to stay in the bag. He doesn't have enough movement to get away from that thing as we move Could've over. Been sleeping this whole time. Yeah, he'll stay way out here in the back. Oh wow, it doesn't move much if it doesn't need to. If it's not in range to attack Too someone, far. does it? You got a might of Z or do you have like really good resistance, Ingrid? <laughs> well good of you to change your target, you jerk. Thank you! Nice try! You weren't ready. So what is her? Whatever. We don't need any rusted anything at the moment. She does have high resistance and low defense. Okay. Interesting. Like Speaking of you. You could just, like, wipe him out in one blow with your Mystic Blow. Uh, for the sake of, you know, moving over to help, and but leaving you there to do stuff. Ooh, I'm gonna get attacked. How exciting. Here, let's, uh, Oh, you can heal now, I forgot. Well, that might be a better idea. With that equipped, I can put you here. I'm gonna heal you, too. I have a pretty darn good heal, don't I? Oh, no, actually, she just has really low health. Actually, she is a bit of a glass cannon, isn't she? Like, compare that to everyone else's health. 44, 27, 46. 
33 even on her. Even Bernie has 40. Holy Sally moly, four. she's like the glassiest glass cannon ever, isn't she? I shall rise, but your day is past. We good. Is it wrong to say that monster looks hungry for Linhart? I think that's accurate. Okay, this should get the last the one back, no yeah? Should. I don't need a fucking... No, did you... Oh, you didn't have that. Okay. I guess there's just the chance that they'll steal it if they kill one of us. Ah, Edelgard. Of course, Edelgard. Uh, we should probably take this thing out. I hope it's not like a max size limits the convoy. Let the lesson begin. Yeah, let's do more of these crits. These are the cool crits. Wow. That was actually a bit different. That was a different animation than the other one. Huh. I have improved. Huh. I basically just took out an entire health bar by itself there. Damn, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can get behind that. I will win. Another crit! I was about to, I swear to goodness of that miss, I was about to say. Wow! This thing was a pushover when all set was was all when all set with uh, words. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's pull him in. <laughs> I'm told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? Okay, this guy's a fucker. Absorption. Zero percent chance, though, so... The fuck is wrong with you? What does absorption do? Does that involve the cannibalism? This is our chance. Oh, yeah. I figured... Linhar could uh, tank the uh, magic guy pretty well. Gets us stuck in place, though. Good thing I brought Ingrid over to help. My oh my. So I should probably switch to a. Actually, who are you going after? Yeah, that's gonna hurt if I let you do that. Okay, how quickly can we take out this guy, basically? Actually... No, I'd have to use the frickin' bow to do that. Why? <laughs> bow. Okay, down, down. Not good enough. Closer than you might think, though. Especially if I can do just a little bit more. Nah. <laughs> Going after her. It's beautiful. Let's see. So if I can hit you hard enough now with a near complete takedown efficiency. Yeah, missing dead though. Missing so fucking dead. Wait. No. I was just following orders. I just... Find better people, Edelgard. My goodness. Just because he's fucking willing to go along with you doesn't mean that you should. 
Oh. <laughs> and I guess we're now back to just normalcy. We're all just... Leafs in the winds. In this completely undramatic music. Over already? So I can definitely check her out this turn. Oh, that'll hurt. She has... Does she have just, like, a general counter? Yeah, she has, like, the counter from the Death Knight. Oh, man, that's gonna hurt. That doesn't do too much, but the counter's a bit better. Can you counter from this distance? Yes, you can. But I will take you out. What about Echo? What can I do with Echo? I can make this really, really count. Can I do it with a not the Sword of the Greater? I don't really want to use those at the moment. No, I can't. Ah, uh, alas. Let's put other people in range at the very least. Okay. Let's do this with her extremely low retaliation hit percentage now. Professor, I will make no excuses. Thank you for all that you did for me. In truth, no. Let's leave it at that. Allow me to demonstrate. And a fucking crit of all times. Well, at least I didn't use more durability on it. So, the end has come. Yeah, just fucking ran into it, too. Is that really how you're gonna end this? Why would I get a rusted bow off of her? <laughs> Did, like, a fucking enemy die there? Huh. Mysterious Emily Support Skill Acquisition. Increases the amount of skill experience earned. Does that count for like training too? Like faculty training? Interesting. Oh, that can. Oh, I got a lot of shit out there. Come on, Edelgard. You can do better than this. Yeah, Petra was very good in that. I'm actually. Because of her uh, mobility, I'm actually able to use her axe skills properly. To uh, switch between that and bow. You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of House Heresbelg would dare betray the Holy Church. So, it is my teacher who stands in my way. I always knew it would come to this. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. She is a danger to all of Fodlin. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. 